Hi there guys, you're back with Mr. Burns and today we are looking at fractions and decimals and how they relate, so what are they to each other. Let's just have a quick look, let's go over here, let's have a quick reminder what a fraction is guys. I am sure that you remember that a fraction is part of a whole, so here we go. Here's my apple, yum, okay, here's my apple and I'm going to colour in half of the apple. So that's half the apple and you can see... Half of the apple is, of course, a part of a whole apple. So here's the half of the apple. If I took it over here, right, there it is. So I would call that the half of the apple. It's a fraction because it's part of a whole apple. Okay. Now, a decimal is the same, guys. A decimal is also part of a whole. It's just in a different sort of language. So here we go. Here's the decimal 0 0.5. It's not a whole. It's not one, two, three, or four, is it? It's part of a whole. It's somewhere actually between zero and one. So there's zero, and here's one. Okay, so there's a whole. That's a whole one. There, I just circled it. It's a whole one. And 0 0.5, there's the one back, goes exactly halfway between zero and one. In fact, it's the same as this apple here. 0 0.5 of an apple equals half of an apple. 0 0.5 of one apple equals half of an apple. Fractions and decimals are both parts of wholes. They mean the same thing often. It's just a different way of saying it. All right, let's have a look at this uh, little puzzle I've made for us here, which is blank. I'm going to make it unblank. I'm going to fill it in in a moment with cleverness. Right, the whiteboard's misbehaving. You really are misbehaving today, aren't you? Okay, there you go. Okay, guys, you can see I've fixed up my square and I've drawn you a 100 grid. Let's imagine this 100 grid. In this grid here, it's got 100 squares. Let's make it equal 1. Altogether, it equals 1. Can you see how many squares are coloured in of my 100 grid? Count them up for me. Go on. Count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 squares out of how many? Count all the squares up. Go on. Pause it. Count them all up. Okay. I bet you worked out there was 100. That means, as a fraction, guys, we can say this is 20, or says 20 coloured in, over 100, or 20 hundredths. Right, can you make that a decimal? Can you make 20 hundredths a decimal? And you have to know your place value chart for this. I'll draw it up for you. Okay, so I've drawn up your place value chart. This will help you uh, work out what 20 hundredth, there's your fraction. I know you understood 20 hundredths is a fraction. That's easy. It just means 20 of those hundred squares are coloured in. But let's turn it into a decimal. Right, guys, this is pretty easy. There's our place value chart. There's our hundreds. There's our ten oh, sorry, there's our hundreds, there's our tens, there's our units, there's our tenths, which now we get it into decimals because that's that's a part of a number, that's a part of a whole, and there's our hundredths. So that's what we're really interested in because we we're looking at parts of a whole. Right, can you tell me how many hundredths we've got to represent? Have a look. How many hundredths are there? There is. There's 20. Very good. Right, now you might just go, well, I'm going to find where 20 hundredths is. Remember, it's hundredths. You sort of spit on someone when you say it. Here's the hundredths bit. There it is. Oh, sorry. Here's the hundredths bits down there. There it is. But, but you might want to do this. You might want to go 20 hundredths. You can't do that. You can only put one number each in each place value column, right? But you've still got to show 20 hundredths. So... So, we have to put this 2, if it'll let me move it. No, it won't. Whoops, a daisy. We have to put the 2 there, and we have to put the 0 over here, which reads as 20 
hundredths, twenty hundredths. It also reads just as two tenths if you're interested. And two tenths is exactly the same as twenty hundredths. But we're not going to get into that now. Right, let's have a look at another example. Let's look at this one. Oh, there's nothing there. I'll fix that. Okay, guys, there's a hundred there again, so it's going to be something out of a hundred. There you go, I'll start you off. You can do the fraction. How many hundredths are coloured in? All of this together is one whole, so it all together it equals one. It's one pineapple, or it's one donut, or one pizza. But a certain amount of hundredths of that are eaten, or they're coloured in. How many hundredths? Well, count it up. Go on, you can pause me and check. Okay, I did a quick count and I counted up 11. So the fraction is 11 hundredths. 11 hundredths. Well, how do we turn that into a decimal? Well, we're definitely going to have to go back to our place value. Some of you might just be able to work it out now. Have a quick go if you want. See if you can turn 11 hundredths into a decimal. Just have a go before I show you using the place value chart. Okay, guys, and here we are back at our place value chart. This is how we turn fractions over here. Whoops, Daisy. Fractions into decimals. We use our place value chart. And, well, there's 11 hundredths, isn't there? Look. Well, find for me hundredths. Don't find hundreds. Don't find that. Don't find tens, don't find units, don't find tenths, find hundredths. Right, well, whoops, Daisy, whoops, Daisy, that should have been a tick. Find hundredths, we're looking for eleven hundredths, because there's your hundredths. Okay, there it is. So, you've got to write down eleven. Remember, you can't do this, you have to go over to the left. So, it actually becomes the one in the hundredths and the one in the tenths, and that reads as eleven hundredths, because it finishes here, guys. Okay, you start there, you read it like from the left to right, eleven hundredths, and it ends in the hundredths column. So there's your answer. 0 0.11 is the same as saying eleven hundredths. It's exactly the same value. Okay. Let's have a look at another one. Wow, here's a good one. How many hundredths are coloured in? Now, and you tell me. It's one hundredth. Right, it's one hundredth. How are you going to show that using the place value chart? Make that into a decimal for me, please. Okay, here we are. You've got to make one hundredth. There it is, one hundredth. It's very small. Well, where are we going to put a one? If we're looking for one hundredths, are we going to put it in the hundreds? No. In the tens? No. In the units? No. In the tenths? No. We're going to put it in the hundredths. To make that sound, the hundredths. And how many is there? Well, there's one. So you put the one there, right? You can't have nothing in here, guys, in the tens. You've got to have something. So you put in a zero. It's a placeholder. And there's your answer, guys. 0 0.01 is equal to 100. And if you want, you can put a zero in front of the, the decimal point. It doesn't matter how many zeros you put in front of the decimal point. It still equals nothing. So there's your answer. 0 0.1. That's definitely one of the tricky ones, I think. Okay, guys. Here's another one for you. Last one. Uh, what's the fraction? It's out of 100. How many squares are coloured in? There's a hundred. How many squares are coloured in? Count them up. Pause me if you like. There is 15. So there's your fraction. Now make it a decimal. We're not even going to go to the other page. If it's 15 over a hundred, then it's zero units, point one tenth and five hundredths, which together equals 15 hundredths. There you go, guys. If you've got any questions, come and see me. Here, I'll set you some work. Have a go at this one by yourself. There you go. Right. Work it out. How many hundredths? What's the fraction? Something out of a hundred. It is, pause me and find out. It is seven hundredths. So as a decimal... You're going to have to show me. Go on, work it out. 
zero units. Zero tens this time, but seven hundred. Okay, guys. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. Cheers.